What's up guys? Today, me and my friend Desi are headed to Denver and we're gonna go test drive some cars. I'm looking for a new car to drive daily, but I want it to be a sporty car that's kind of fast and has a manual transmission. So today we're gonna be test driving the Hyundai Veloster N, the Ford Focus ST, and a Honda Civic Si, and a maybe i don't know if, if we're actually going to go through with it but um a fiesta st so that's what we have in store for today and we're headed to denver right now continue on us 40 west for one and a half miles holy cow that is a, yeah, wow that's pretty quick okay so we're in the hyundai veloster n this is the non-performance pack version. My first time driving like a manual, like sporty car, and I haven't stalled it, so I'm, I'm pretty glad about that. Uh, I'm, I already feel a lot more comfortable driving this. But wow, this thing, that was pretty fast. I got yeah, on it's, it. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Um, what is this, Idaho's? Hmm, I don't know where to go. I don't have it in end mode or anything. There's like an end mode that makes the exhaust like really loud and but I don't want to do that yet not until we're out of the traffic and stuff Oof, this is like nerve-wracking guys this interior is really nice the shifter knob is super short compared I mean I'm I'm coming from driving a work truck like a 2006 like Chevy Colorado that's a five-speed manual so that's all I really have experience in hey guys this thing's pretty quick yeah that's freaking nice dude that's so fun Oh my gosh. I want this car now. <laughs> yeah. Gotta save up, huh? Should yeah. I turn? Ponderosa Circle, then turn right onto Cooper Street. I did, that's not a bad turning radius. No. I need to turn this off. Well, I'm doing pretty good on the manual. Yeah, it's a sports car. Really, the only problem is starting. Yeah. But even starting, like, it wasn't as bad as I expected. Dude, these brakes are really sensitive. Are they? Yeah, that might be like too close. No, I don't know. Just... It's just a sports car, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, this is perfect. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. That was a bad shift, but... That is crazy. Dude, and this isn't even the performance version. And it's not even in sport mode. All right, I'm going to put it in end mode now. So this is what the shifter looks like. It's a... Just a really short shifting, um, really short throw. It's pretty smooth. Oh yeah, that's an end mode for sure. Where should I go from here? Just go straight, I guess. This thing's sweet. I need to turn my music off. The end mode also like stiffens the suspension. Wow, I just, we missed it on camera, but I just turned onto the highway and let it rip and geez, this thing is nice. Like it's so quick and I've, I've never experienced like the turbo, the turbo car before, like with the lag and everything. But once that turbo kicks in, like you're going and I have it in end mode right now. So the, the um, exhaust, it's got, yeah, the exhaust and it's got like rev matching and stuff. So let's see, I haven't even gotten it in the, Sixth gear. You haven't gotten it out of fourth. No, I just had it in fifth. Oh. But, um, huh. Let's just follow this and see where we get. But. Hear that exhaust? Dang, dude. No, this thing is crazy. Oh, I really like this. So we're gonna we're gonna try and find a cool road maybe that goes up into these hills and yeah this thing is sweet it's got 91 miles on it um, they're asking what 27 or 26 thousand something yeah 26 like 800 which you know that's not horrible honestly because um, this is a fun car this is nice oh. and it's not even the performance model I know so I'm like oh dude bro this is crazy. Let's test out how this thing handles. Oh man. 
And you can hear that turbo whistling too, especially in the tunnel. That that actually is pretty loud, those crackles. Do it again. Oh man. We're gonna be heading back. Here's a tunnel though, so I'm just gonna roll my window down. Solid pops right there. Respect, respect. I'm trying to keep it um, within the speed limit here. It's really hard. <laughs> just just really saw hard. a cop a second ago. Yeah, there was a cop back there where we turned around. Um, but we're good. We're we're not speeding. Yeah, suspension is really stiff when you have it in end mode. Honestly, I don't even. Uh, I'll just leave it in end mode. <laughs> turn we hit it at 60. Yep, yep. <clears throat> driving this from is um, Planet Hyundai in Golden, Colorado. So shout out to them for being so great and letting me and my buddy drive it without like a salesman or whatever. They just I just went there, had to fill out a little bit of stuff and they let us loose. So it's it's been really fun. I don't want to drive it for too long, but we've already put uh, like 12 miles on it, not, not a ton. Ford Focus ST right now, it's a 2016 with 11,014 miles and we're just going on a little bit of a test drive. So far, first impressions, it's obviously, I mean it's like $10,000 less than a Hyundai Veloster N, so it's a lot more in my price range. Um, and I, I like the shifter already so far, we haven't gotten on it at all, we're just pulling out of the dealership right now, but here's a little bit of a... Sorry, I'm trying to feel out the clutch. That ain't bad. I mean, I didn't really give it much beans right there, but that felt really smooth. And the, I mean, it really, it actually, like, the whole car kind of just, like, lifts off from the front wheels. That's fun. Um, <laughs> man, I might, I might have to end up buying this thing. This thing's sweet. But I'm trying, I need, that's what Desi's here for. He's here to control me. But... I mean, everything's pretty nice, the yeah, shifters. The, the interior is definitely not as like fancy as the other one, but mm -hmm. for the price, I honestly think it's a really good deal. It's got a lot of pep. It sounds pretty decent, like that was only 3,000 RPM. See how the turning clearance is. Oh, dude, that's really sharp. Yeah. Obviously, this is going to be a better deal. You don't get as much technology, 
but that's something that I, I think that I can live with as a daily driver. I wish it did have more technology, but for the price, like, you can't, you can't get that. And the fact that this has 11,000 miles, like, that's crazy. <laughs> We're in the Honda Civic Si right now. We're just getting things adjusted. Just started the engine. It's really quiet. Um, it has a really quite nice interior, except this one that we're driving right now is not in the best shape. Uh, this shifter knob is way smaller than the other ones are. That um, it's really small than the other ones that we test drove today. But let's see what we can do here. Oh, obviously, parking brake. I don't know how to take this off. There we go. Wait, it's on. Now it's. is really engages really towards the end okay we're first pulling on to I don't know what this is really but it's stock or not because like the the wheels on this thing are not um not stock and it almost looks like i mean i haven't te checked this out at all all we did was drop get in it and we're starting to drive it but it seems like this might have some aftermarket modifications that's cool it's got the blind spot for when you're taking a right turn or whenever you're switching to the right lane that's a really nice camera too. It looked like it had some good quality. So I continue here. We'll get a little bit of a pull on this stoplight here. Let's see how it feels. I need to. feels not much slower than the other ones and this could be modded I'm wondering because it might have like an intake or a tune or something on it because it definitely doesn't look stock in there Alrighty guys, now I'm going to take a few minutes to explain kind of um, what happened that day. It was a really busy day and I didn't really give myself enough time. I scheduled the test drives kind of back to back so we didn't even have enough time to eat lunch. And I really didn't have a lot of time to go into depth about explaining like how it went driving the cars and everything. All I really had was the footage of us actually driving the cars um, and even that wasn't great. So I wanted to just take this time real quick to kind of explain what I thought about the cars. 
So, first of all, I want to say the Hyundai Veloster N was definitely the most fun drive that we went on that day. And I think a lot of it was because when we test drove the Hyundai, they were the only ones who didn't really give us a time limit to test drive it. And they didn't give us a specific route to take either. So they pretty much just like let us go off on our own. And they did end up calling us when we were on the way back and just making sure that everything was okay, but they didn't say like we had to come back or anything. So we had a lot more time in that car and we were able to find this really cool road that went through these hills and stuff, as you saw. So that was really exciting and it was super cool. Not to mention that was the first car that we drove, so obviously um, the impressions, the first impressions of driving it were a lot more exaggerated I want to say because I've never before that I've never driven a car with a turbo or anything that fast before that being said the next test drive that we drove was the Ford Focus ST 2016 and that was a good test drive it it wasn't comparable to the Veloster N really because we had a specific route that he wanted us to take so it wasn't a very long test drive and I was kind of focusing a lot on making sure I stayed on the route and I didn't get lost so that I could get back to the dealership in time because I didn't want to get you know in trouble or anything um, so that was a, it was a little bit more stressful for me to have to worry about where we were and everything but that that car it was it was a smooth drive it I think it was just about as fast as the Veloster N. So here's here's a little bit of facts. The Veloster N that we test drove had 250 horsepower and 260 foot-pound of torque. The Ford Focus ST had 252 horsepower, so two more horsepower, and 270 foot-pound of torque, so 10 more foot-pound of torque than the Veloster N. So other than weight, I think that the Ford was, I, I don't have the stats on what they weigh, but I think the Ford is probably a little bit heavier than the Veloster, but um, comparing those specs, they should be right about the same speed and everything. And then the Civic Si was kind of an unfair test because I went test driving cars because I'm looking to buy one. and. I don't want to buy a car that's not stock. I want one that's completely stock. I know that nobody's done anything to it and it it is just a, a peace of mind mostly for me. So that being said, the the Honda Civic SI, it had like when we first test drove it, we didn't we hadn't like previously looked at it, looked under the hood or anything, so we didn't really know anything other than like it had some aftermarket rims, it had some aesthetic things to it. Um, so we went on the test drive and it felt like a lot faster than it should have felt because a stock Civic Si is like 205 horsepower and then like 197 foot pound of torque. So it, it seriously should not, it should have felt a lot slower than the previous carts that we drove, but it actually felt as fast or maybe even faster to be honest like it was it was pretty quick and that was the shortest test drive of the day as well so it kind of went from really fun to good to eh because that Civic SI we also got put on a smaller loop and it I really didn't have a lot of time to like we seriously were only test driving for maybe 10 minutes and just went on this loop so I didn't have a lot of time to open it up or take it through curves or anything like we did the Hyundai and same thing kind of with the Ford, um, but I really, I think that they were all pretty close um, speed-wise, like, f for the feeling of how quick they are. I couldn't really tell you which is faster, because we didn't really focus on that. I was focusing more on just, like, the feel of it, and uh, how it handled, how it braked, how the shifter was, and everything. And they were all really fun, I'll tell you that. I really did like them all. So the Hyundai Veloster N, once they added taxes and everything, it came out to about almost $30,000. It was like 29000 something. So, and then the Ford Focus was just under 20000 So, literally a $10,000 gap. And all you're really sacrificing with 
the Ford is technology. Obviously, the Veloster N had this crazy technology to where you can adjust the exhaust tone, you can adjust the dampers, um, the suspension, how stiff it is, and even the throttle response, things like that, all through the computer. It had Apple Android or Apple <laughs> Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so it just had more technology and features. Um, it they were the Hyundai and the Ford Focus were just about the same size. Um, I was I was thinking that the Hyundai would have been smaller than the Focus, and I think overall it was smaller. But the back seat space was pretty comparable to the Ford Focus, so I was surprised about that. But the the thing with the Hyundai that makes it more fun to drive than the other cars is how dramatic it is, especially when you put it in N mode. N mode is like the top sporty mode, basically made for the track, to where it makes your exhaust loud, it stiffens the suspension all the way, makes your um, throttle response a lot more responsive. And so that just makes it, it just adds to the drama of driving it and it makes it more fun. So I, I'd have to say that was the most fun drive. And it is also because we just got to go on this cool road and have more time than the other ones. One more thing, one more thing about the Honda Civic. The Honda Civic also has a good amount of technology. It has the touch screen. It has the uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, it has a full digital display for the for the tachometer and speedometer, which is really cool. It's it's a really cool car. Um, that was a sedan version, and it looked really good. Um, my friend Desi, he really liked that one. He liked that a lot. I didn't like it that much just because it has been modded, and I wish that, I hope that soon here I can test drive a stock Honda Civic because I do want to see how those feel um, in comparison with the other ones, but I felt like it wasn't a very fair comparison just because it did have some modifications to it which I forgot I never even said what they were it had a aftermarket intake for sure we popped the hood after we drove and we saw aftermarket air intake um, it had I I think it had a tune too because it really it really was pretty quick so I feel like it had a tune and other than that I don't know what it had it could have had other things but I really don't know so really I, I'm kind of, I feel like it wasn't a very fair comparison because, you know, the, just the test drive situation. But uh, I think I got from it what I needed to know. And I didn't end up buying a car that day. Yeah, so I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and to stay updated on what car I get. If you guys want to guess what car... I'm going to get in the future. Drop a comment down below and see if you can guess right. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.